Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a quadratic equation. I'll be presenting two methods and let's get started. First method, since this is a quadratic equation we can definitely use the quadratic formula so let's go ahead and use it. So if you use the quadratic formula z is going to be negative b 2i plus minus the square root of b squared, so you get a square negative 2i, minus 4 times a times c. But when you bring the c over here, it's going to be minus 5, therefore you need to change this to a plus sign, so that you get the correct sign, and divide all of that by 2a, which is 4. Great, when you square negative 2i, you get 4i squared, which is the same thing as negative 4. So let's go ahead and write it as negative 4. This gives us 4 times 2 times 5, which is 40. So we get negative 2 plus 40 under the radical, and all of that is divided by 4. Now 40 minus 4 is equal to 36, and the square root of 36 is positive 6. So we get 2i plus minus 6 divided by 4 from here. And this can be simplified and written as follows. We can go ahead and write it as plus minus 3 over 2 plus 1 half of i. So the plus minus is going to be in front of the 3 halves because that's where the sign changes. So notice that this equation or this, these solutions are not in standard form. So those are going to be the z values. If you wanted to write them separately, z sub 1 could be written as 3 over 2 minus 1 half, I mean plus 1 half of i, and z sub 2 would be negative 3 halves plus 1 half of i. So they'll have the same imaginary parts, but different real parts. Make sense? Okay, great. So that's the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at another method for solving this equation, which is going to be the second one. So let's rewrite our equations. 2z squared minus 2iz equals 5. So for our second method, we're going to replace z with something like a plus bi. Since a complex number can be written in standard form or rectangular form, we can write z as a plus bi. You can also use x plus y, but I like this a plus bi better. So let's go ahead and do the replacements. We get 2 times a plus bi bi squared minus 2i multiplied by a plus bi equals 5. You can divide both sides by 2 if you want, but that's no big deal. Let's keep it um, free of fractions for now. Let's go ahead and expand what's inside the parentheses. So how do you square a plus bi? You square a and then you square bi, which is minus b squared because i squared is equal to negative 1, right? And then plus 2abi from the 2ab. And then if you distribute the negative 2i, you get negative 2ai minus 2bi squared, but that turns into 2b or not 2b, okay? And that is equal to 5. Great, so let's go ahead and distribute the 2 and then separate the real and imaginary parts. So 2a squared minus 2b squared plus 4abi minus 2ai plus 2b equals 5. Now you can subtract 5 from both sides and set it equal to 0 or leave the 5 on the right hand side and then go from there. Either way is fine. I'm going to leave the 5 alone and now put together the real parts. 2a squared minus 2b squared plus 2b. That's going to be the real part. And then I have these two terms which we can factor out an i from. So that's going to be 4ab minus 2a multiplied by i, and the whole thing is equal to 5. Now, what happens if a complex number is equal to 5? Obviously, 5 can be written as 5 plus 0i. So the imaginary part, since 5 is real, the imaginary part is 0. So that's the same thing that needs to happen on the left-hand side. So the imaginary part of this complex number is 0, and the real part is equal to the real number 5. Make sense? Great, so let's go ahead and solve this as a system. We get 2a squared minus 2b squared plus 2b equals 5. 
and 4ab minus 2a equals 0. So this is a system of equations and it's quadratic and there are two variables so we should be able to solve this for a and b right but let's start with the second equation because it's a little easier so let's go ahead and factor out at 2a here we get 2b minus 1 equals 0 and this gives us two things either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 1 half Let's go ahead and follow each lead. If a is equal to 0, we can use the first equation. We can just plug it in. If a is equal to 0, then we get 0 minus 2b squared plus 2b equals 5. And then from here, we should be able to find b, right? Let's go ahead and put all the b's on the same side. 2b squared minus 2b plus 5 equals 0. And if you try to solve for b here, you're going to get negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. And 4 times a times c is just going to be negative 40. And notice that this is not going to give you a real answer because 4 minus 40 is less than 0. So that's going to bring in some complex numbers. But b is supposed to be a real number. Why? because this is a number written in standard form. A is the real part, B is the imaginary part, and they're both supposed to be real. So this means A equals zero is not a good choice. So we have to discard it and go with B is equal to one half. Now what happens B is equal to one half? We can go ahead and plug in one half and see what happens. That gives us two A squared minus two times one fourth plus two times B, which is one equals 5. From here we get 1 half plus 1. So if you subtract 2a squared equals 4 minus, actually that's going to be 4 plus 1 half. So we get 2a squared is equal to 9 halves. And if you divide both sides by 2 or multiply by 1 half, you get a squared equals 9 over 4. And remember, b is equal to 1 half. So from here we get two solutions for a. a is either 3 halves or negative three halves. Along with b equals one half, this gives us the two solutions again. Therefore, since our number was written as a plus bi, our numbers or solutions are just going to be three halves plus one half of i or negative three halves plus one half i. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. And by the way, uh, we could also solve this equation uh, a little differently uh, with the second method. Um, think about how we could handle this problem a little differently. And until next time, be safe and bye-bye.